Hello, how's it going? I'm doing great, hope you're doing great. If you're like me, and you thought about making a YouTube channel, but you just don't know, like you don't know, you don't want to spend money on equipment, you don't have time, you don't have the space to do it. Right now I'm literally in, I guess you would call it like a, I don't know where I keep my food in the storage room, it's just a small little room. And today, today I told myself, I'm done with the excuses, I'm done making excuses for myself. I've been wanting to do YouTube for about a year. And today I just said, you know what, I had enough. I'm done. I'm done with the excuses. The only way to do anything in this life, in our, in this world, is to just do it. Like the Nike, Nike commercial, just do it. It's that simple, you just gotta do it. Man, I gotta tell you, this, feel, this feels good. You know, this feels so cool just talking and having a reason to talk and express myself. And I think that's where a lot of people quit with YouTube before they even start. They don't know what to make their channel about. They don't know what to do. You know, with my channel, I want to just talk about life in general. You know, I have so many different interests in my life. I love video games, I love working out, I love reading, I love the outdoors, I love to hike, and I love exploring, uh, specifically, like, abandoned buildings, I think that's so cool, I think, you know, I think it's just cool to film that, and I want to do that after, you know, I, I do this video and future videos. But and... it's okay to not know what to do at first. I sat for about a half hour trying to figure out what to talk about for this video, and I just said, you know, I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of just trying to figure it out. I just want to talk, man. I just want to talk and just express myself. And that's what I'm doing. So if you're like me and you have a passion for sharing yourself with the world and just talking and learning every single day and improving your life and nonstop, and it's just, if you're like that, if you're like me, Start a channel, man. This is a good way to talk about whatever the hell you want to talk about. That's why YouTube is so cool, I think, for me. If you if you have an interest in anything, dude, there's, a, there's an audience for it, you know? Like, I'm wearing watches, for example, okay? I'm wearing a watch. If you love watches, if you love the, the look of watches, if you love learning about different styles, different makers, different... Uh, brand, if you love all of that and you want to talk about it, make a channel about watches. It could be Mike's Watches, the channel. You could sell watches on there. You could unbox watches, the big unboxing community on YouTube. You can do whatever you want with watches. And it's just like, it fascinates me that there's an audience for that. And if you think like, okay, no one's going to want to watch me. I'm boring. I don't have what it takes. Dude, that's that's so wrong. Like, for the longest time, I still am to, still am to this day. Terrible public speaker. Terrible. I'm so bad, dude. I'm Oh, my God. I'm just so bad. I remember in high school, I was in theology class, okay? And in the class, we had to read out of the textbooks, and the teacher picked a number, and if that was our number that we were given at the beginning of the school year, we had to read. And I remember he picked my number, and I was just, I got so nervous, dude. I never really felt that way before, and I got so nervous. And I started reading, and I only had to read like a paragraph, but I was reading it, and I got so nervous. I got so nervous. My voice started shaking, my heart was pounding, I could feel my face like burning red. And I just got through it. I got through the paragraph. And this girl was next to me. And she's like, what were you doing? Were you crying? She was like making fun of me. And, I, I, and everyone started like giggling and laughing. And I felt so bad about myself. I was like, wow. Like, what is wrong with me, dude? Like, I can't even read a damn paragraph. And I struggle with that throughout college. In my job now, in my life. I'm 24 years old, by the way. Um, but I still struggle with that, dude. And the best way to overcome that I've learned in my life is to put yourself in there and try new things and try what, what you're scared of. I just recently watched a video uh, with Will Smith and he was talking about 
his experience with skydiving and over overcoming fear. And he, he said this such a cool quote. Uh, I think I'll, I'll try to get it right. He said, um, God places the best things on the other side of fear. And I was like, wow, that's, that's so true. You know, whether you're religious or not, like, you know, yes, it's okay. It's okay to be afraid of something. But when that fear starts to cripple you, that's when it becomes a problem. You know, if you're scared of putting the camera on and getting in front of it and speaking, you will always be afraid of it. That's never going away until you turn the camera on and talk, you know? Like I said, I'm a huge, huge fear of public speaking. And I'm not talking in front of like thousands of people right now, but it's like, this is a good start. And if you want to make a channel, you know, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Just do it. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. That's what I learned in my life. Just do it. Just do it. So I hope this video was helpful anyway, in any way, shape, or form. I hope you learned something. And I hope you, you know, write in the comments. Try to encur encourage me. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. And, we'll, you know, I'll grow to grow with you and we'll learn together. And that's how life, that's how life is, man, you know. But if you're scared to try new things... Don't think, just do. Don't think, just do. Don't think, just do. And in the end, when, you, when you're when you on the other side of fear, you'll be happy. It's that simple.